Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to a rare plant haul. Honestly, in the past week and a bit, between buying Monsteras, sorting the shop out and everything else, I just have not had time to do many videos this week, especially the videos that are kind of more informational and, you know, basically the stuff that you tend to crave. I haven't really had time to do that, but I seemingly have had time to get some more plants. So I think I have around about seven plans to show you today, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know if I've counted properly. I'm kind of sat with them all around me. It's a little bit ridiculous in here. Also, how hot is it in here? That is what is reading in here right now. That fucking sucks, by the way. Uh, that's way too hot. So although this denim jacket seemed like a good idea at the time because it kind of goes with my makeup, I'm going to take it off because I might die if I don't. So put that there. Right. In no particular order, I might, might work from the smallest plant to the largest plant. So I'm just gonna pick up a plant now. I've got a choice of two. Let's pick up this one. So my first plant I have to haul for you today is, I don't know. <laughs> so this here is a type of anthurium. Now I bought it as something else, but it isn't. I actually thought it was dark mama when I got it, but I don't think it is. I think it is something else. I think it is a different kind of hybrid. It's still very beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's very, very velvety and no doubt it will grow to be absolutely stunning. But this is her. Very, very nice. Obviously it's in my shop packaging still. I brought it straight from the shop. So that's why it's in this very unsexy packaging. But I've literally just come back this morning with a lot of stuff. So that is her. She is very, very beautiful. She is very, very velvety. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the velvetiness in there, but it's such a beautiful plant. It really, really is. Again, don't know much about it. Don't know what it is. If you've got an ID for me, that would be absolutely great. I will show you just the front and then the petty hole again. So that's the front of the plant. That is the back there. So if you know what that is, let me know because I'm not sure and I need to figure it out. <laughs> Whether we know what it is or not, it is still very, very pretty. So I'm very pleased to have this and I can't wait to see new leaves on this because I just have a feeling they're gonna get really, really like grande and I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. So that is my first plant today, Anthurium something or other. Oh, this is small as well. Let's go for this one. Now I actually used to have a similar plant to this Anthurium a long time ago. And I mean like literally a year ago plus. This is a long, long time ago. And I think I got the plant in, I put it in my biop and it hated me. And it continued to hate me pretty much forever. So I think I gave up on it in the end. I think I might have died, I don't know. Just nothing I could do for this plant helped. But I've got something similar this time and I'm hoping to have better luck with it. And this is the Anthurium Silver Blush. It's nothing like new by any stretch, but I've never really taken the plunge on one till now. And honestly, they're pretty gorgeous. And it's not gonna come off on camera, I already know, because I don't think it's well like lit enough in here, but it's so like just silvery and sparkly on the leaves. I'll do my best and we'll see if we can get a sparkle out of it, but my, my ring light's turned right down. Otherwise it would just be ridiculous up in here. It would just overexpose on the camera. So don't think you're gonna get the nice silvery sheen on it, which is a shame, but it is a very, very beautiful plant. Again, it's in the same packaging from my shop, so that's why it looks a little bit shitty. It does need repotted, but I will get round to it when I can. How lovely is that? I actually don't even mind it in this pot, and I'm not a lover of pink. This pot's just been kind of sad because I've had to repot some stuff, but it's actually quite cute. I don't hate it, I really don't. So that is Anthurium Silver Blush. Very, very, very adorable compact little Anthurium. Love it, love it. Okay, now it's gonna start getting a little bit more interesting. I'm not going to lie, let's put her down there. I've got some choices now. Oh, can you see this in the back? I might just have to cover this now because <laughs> this is, mm, this is a thing. So obviously I have too many Florida ghosts. People that watch me regularly know this about me. It doesn't really end as far as Florida ghosts are concerned. I have a problem. It's a bit of an addiction. And I might have went and brought another one into the house. So this actually came into my shop very, very recently, along with many others. So if you're wanting a ghost in the next restock that I'm gonna do, don't worry, I got you covered. It's not from the box of ghosts that went missing either, by the way, that's, that's gone. I don't even know where that is. But this, is simply a Florida ghost. But obviously I've picked it for one, the size of the leaves 
And two, this amazing like reverse variegation that can happen on ghosts. Don't get me wrong, it can happen. I have another one up here actually with the same thing on. You just can't see it in the background right now. But it's so pretty. Let me show you again. Again, same shitty packaging from my shop. Let me just show you that. Trying to get it all in the frame there. I believe that is in the frame. That is a pretty, pretty plant. There's the second leaf there. Obviously, it's recently been shipped, so that's why it looks like this. And there is the third. That is just the luscious, luscious plant. Do I need another Florida ghost? No, obviously not. Obviously not. But do I want more Florida ghost? Yes, 100%. I would just have a forest in here, Florida ghost, like lining the walls if I could. Imagine how amazing that would look. Oh my god. Mm. So yes, this is another very unnecessary philodendron Florida ghost. Very, very, very beautiful plants. I will have some of these available, but they are not available for around a month because they will need to acclimate. They've all come reasonably good like this. This is, this is to be honest, a reasonably good shipment, but that's not enough for me. I want to see new roots. So I'm going to wait a month and then I will probably put them on the shop. So do not worry. I will keep you posted because I know so many people are desperate for these plants, it's not even funny. But you will get some in a month or so. Let me pop this back because, oh my God, I don't know where to put her. Does she look good there? Probably not, can't tell, really can't tell. My eyes are terrible. Right, that's another plant down. So, oh, that one's interesting over there. That one's really interesting down there. That one's very interesting there as well. Uh, let's grab this one. This is very, very cool. I like this one very, very much. Right, so the next plant I have to show you guys, I actually saw this in Thailand quite a lot. Like it was everywhere. But the, the plants that I saw were like way bigger than this. Like no comparison. So I've got in a baby just because I, I quite like it and I want to grow one out in the shop and get it to be ridiculous like size. So that is why I went ahead and purchased a wonderful philodendron gigantium variegata except obviously it's not so gigantium right now <laughs> it's obviously just a baby it's got a new leaf coming through here let me see if you can see that there but this is the variegation and I, this is variegation isn't for everybody typically i don't like this kind of variegation but i just want to see how it goes because as i say i've seen these larger and they look really good so I'm gonna see what I make of these. I don't know, like I'm not converted yet. I don't really know how I feel, but this is her anyway. This is one beautiful, beautiful variegated leaf. That's her there. She has another one here, like so. She has obviously her new leaf coming in. And then she also has, come on camera, there we go. She has that one too. So she is looking very, very cute. Very, very stable as well, actually. She's really recovering from shipping like fast. Really, really fast. These are probably going to be very easy plants. I can kind of tell already. I don't know if anybody has one of these at home. You know, let me know if I'm right. But I feel like these are actually not bad. So there you go. Philodendron Gigantium Arigata. Do not be fooled, guys. These get absolutely fucking massive. Trust me. Google it. Google it. I don't want to spoil it for you by putting a picture up, but please, honestly, just Google it and you'll see how big these bad boys get. Really, really good. Right, where am I going to put him? Right then. Okay, okay, okay. That brings me onto this side of the room because they're kind of all spread around because the room in here... Ah. I'm pleased you can't see it because it's an absolute fucking mess. The next plant I have known about for a while and I've wanted it for a while actually, pretty much since I saw it, I wanted it. It is kind of reminiscent of a few different plants actually. It's a little bit reminiscent of maybe even a golden dragon uh, among other plants. This plant has not long been in my possession. It is kind of recovering right now. It's looking okay. Don't get me wrong, it's not looking perfect, but it's looking pretty good. So the next plant that I have to haul today is none other than the Philodendron Longilobatum. And that is this wonderful little thing here. Obviously, this is very, very juvenile, but let me show you the leaves because they're adorable. Again, they are not in the most pristine condition, but they will recover just fine. This here is one of the leaves. Seriously, why wouldn't you want that? Why wouldn't you want that? Like, look at it, man. So that's one leaf. This is another leaf here that is not looking as great. Then I have a leaf here. Oh, this actually, this petiole's actually kind of snapped, so that's not great. But I have another leaf here that seems to be holding on fine for now. 
I moved back because they're quite long. Uh, which leaves haven't we done? These two here, so there's a leaf here as well. Come on camera. Here we go, there we go. There's a leaf there. And then again, there is a leaf right there. Please excuse my fingers that are not looking their best today at all. So this plant is probably gonna hang out in here, maybe round a shelf or something like that. I'm not fully sure yet, but how amazing is this? I'm so pleased to have this, I can't even tell you. They were not easy to find either. I had trouble finding these, but I'm pleased I've got one. I may have a couple more, just putting it out there, I may have a couple more, but again, they're not available for some time. This is just awesome. It's kind of spiritus vibes, kind of not. I, I can't decide. It's not the same as the, the uh, Lelano Miano, by the way, but it's kind of like the slimmer version. So that's kind of what you're getting. It's not quite the same, but I think we can all agree it's just as pretty, honestly. I love this. So that is Philodendron Longillobatum. Oh gosh, that just leaves me with two plants and they're both fucking huge. We'll start with this one, and this one's difficult because it's in Lekka and it's like an inner pot and an outer pot, but there's quite a lot of gap in between the inner pot and the outer pot, and it's probably gonna slide around. So if you hear some sloshing and some sliding and some general just chaos, that's why. Can I put it on my knee before I show you it? Eh, not really. Oh, let's tip it slightly so you can't see. Right, I will have to not move and explain what this is. So this, I found for my uh, Philodendron Red Plant Index, the latest one I did, so Philodendron Red Plant Index 2, basically. I saw this in there and I thought, you know what, I kind of need one. And I went out and I found one. And I did not expect to find one this large, so I'm very, very happy with my purchase. But this is the Philodendron Dark Lord. And I'm very excited about this because it is a very pretty plant. Is it for everybody? No, possibly not. But I am absolutely in love with it. Let's just try and hold it up. Again, I've got a bit of a lecker situation and the pot can really rattle around. So this is going to be the hardest thing ever. Let me try and like perch it on my knee like that and tip it towards you. You might be able to see. This leaf here is brand new. So that's looking pretty fit. I don't know if I can kind of block block my face in front of the camera. This is going to be so difficult. Look at this, the gains that my arms are about to get. Look at that. The underside is just as good. I don't know if I can show you that either. You see that? Look at that, everybody. This is why I wanted this plant, the absolute amazing blood red color that comes through. So we have quite a few leaves on this one. This one's taken a beating. I'm not gonna lie. This one has taken a bit of a beating. And these ones are actually, they're all actually quite good. So yeah, not a small plant, don't get me wrong. Do I need another plant in this flat that is large? No, hell no, but <clears throat> here we are. Here are the stems as well, and I apologize because the camera is desperate to find my face rather than the plant. So those are the stems on the plant. It is so nice there. That's a nice shot of this plant. That is a beautiful shot. Oh my God, look at that. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I think that's my only goth plant that I have. Yeah, I think I went through a phase where I wanted goth plants and then I think I got rid of them and now I'm kind of feeling it again, even though clearly, you know, summer is on its way. But I'm really, really pleased to have that. I'm gonna put that down there and kind of move that because that plant is a fucking nightmare. I'll put her there. She's basically gonna live how she is in that pot for now um, until I probably find her a better pot to be honest, I'll put her in like a self-watering thing and use lecker in that, I don't know. So this leaves me with one plant left and holy shit, if I couldn't show you that one with these, this one is just, it's way worse. It is way worse. I have no idea how I'm even gonna show you this, but I probably have to insert pictures because I believe it's probably easier. Let me just attempt to get the plant. So I've had this for a little while as it happens that this isn't actually something that I've just got. I've had this a little while. It's just, I haven't had time to show it. It wasn't in the shop tour. I had to get moved out of the way because the shop was so full of stuff that you couldn't walk around it like very efficiently when I filmed it. So plot twist, I had more stock than what you saw in the video because it was so full of stock. Half the floor was probably covered in plants. So there was a lot in there. So this is one of the things that was kind of moved out of the way. So you'll see why it was moved out of the way, no doubt. Some of you may know what is coming, some of you may not, but this is my giant Alocasia Zabrina. Yes, these are just the stems. And that is because this plant is absolutely huge. So I'm gonna have to show you this bit by bit. So you've got your pot there, which is obviously huge. Then you've got your stems like such, and then you've got your leaves. 
But the cool thing about the leaves is as follows. Let me try and actually tip the leaf, which is the good one. Can you see that? Tell me you can see that. <laughs> this is not just a zebrina, guys. This is Alocasia zebrina variegata. Its variegation is kind of all over the place. So it has that leaf there. Let me try and put it beside me. I don't know if I can actually show it in the video if I put it beside me. Maybe I can. It has that leaf there that's very variegated. And then some others are like just, they've got kind of like splashes here and there. But this here is like the big daddy. Let's see if I can actually just tilt it a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about there. That is like the big daddy of variegation and the other parts just have splashes and they're not always that visible. They're the splashes all the way down that there and all along the tips. That one's green. That one has some splashes. That one has some splashes. That one has some splashes. So I imagine it's probably going to variegate in a way that kind of alternates on the plant, I think. I don't know. So yeah, it is super hard to show you this. I do appreciate it. it's really hard to show you, but that is her. That is just the best thing ever. Now I used to have an Alocasia Zebrina. And if you followed me on Instagram for some time, then you'll know that I used to have one. And I grew it really big, not this big, but it was getting there. It was maybe about two thirds the size perhaps. And I think I launched the shop and I moved flats in the same weekend. And I think the alocasia got just watered twice or something. By the time I came back from the shop, the, the whole thing had root rot. I probably could have saved it back then if I'd really thought about it, but I didn't. And I just threw it out because I had nothing left of it. So, so over the longest time, I really, really wanted to replace the plant. And I've kind of waited because it wasn't really high on my priority list. But when I saw this a while ago, I couldn't not get it. It's just, I had to get it. So this is her. This is my Alocasia Zebrina Variegata. So I'm gonna move her back now because it's it's getting a bit ridiculous. I don't actually know where I'm gonna put her, if I'm totally honest with you, I haven't figured it out. And I guess that concludes this haul. Now, one thing I did notice because I've just come back from the shop this morning is I have quite a lot of growth updates on a lot of plants. And I don't know if you guys would be interested in just a video. Maybe it's a Tuesday video, maybe it's a Friday video, I don't know. If you'd just be interested in kind of like how my plants are doing or you just prefer a house plant tour, maybe that's actually easier than talking about growth updates kind of separately. I don't really know. So if you could let me know in the comments what format you would prefer, whether you prefer me just sitting here and showing you like growth updates on things or you prefer an actual tour you know, where I go around and I just show you, you know, what's where, which could be easier in some sense. Um, please let me know. Likewise, if you want to see videos like, you know, my top five Monstera, my top five anything, that would be something that I can do a lot more easily nowadays than other things. It's not that I'm not planning the other things, such as rare plant indexes. In fact, there's a rare plant index coming up very soon. But generally speaking, the stuff that I don't have to plan as much is going to work much better for me right now because I'm absolutely swamped. So please let me know in the comments the kind of videos you, you know, you fancy. If you like any of the suggestions I just gave you, please let me know because it's really, really helpful and I will read them. So yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like down below. And if you'd like to see any more of my content, then please hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye guys.